Richard and Judy have gone their separate ways professionally. Judy Finnegan, 70, has retired from television work, while husband Richard Madeley, 62, continues in show busyness, their daughter revealed on Wednesday. The 70-year-old is believed to be focusing on her health and happinesses off-screen, 30 years after the married couple became one of Breakfast TV's most famous double acts. Their daughter Chloe told The Sun on Wednesday, My mum is done with TV, and if she went back to it, I don't think it would make her happy. She wants to concentrate on other things, such as her health and our family. Chloe went on to say, My dad is still in the mix on TV. I love watching him do what he does best, and I love listening to him. Judy has had a 43-year career in television after beginning as the first female reporter for regional news show about Anglia. She hosted This Morning with husband Richard whom she married in 1986 between the years of 1988 until 2001. That year, the couple were poached by Channel 4 to front their own eponymous afternoon show, Richard and Judy. While she was last seen on TV in 2015, Judy's last television job was in October 2014, when she was introduced as a regular panelist for Loose Women. However, on her first day, Judy was criticized for defending footballer Chet Evans, who was convicted of rape in 2012 before being acquitted in 2016. Finnegan stated that Evans should be able to return to his club because the victim was drunk and the rape was unpleasant but not violent. Richard is still a prominent TV figure, most recently standing in for Piers Morgan on Good Morning Britain. The presenter who continues the Richard and Judy book club with his wife also has his own weekend radio show on BBC Radio 2. Richard and Judy's daughter Chloe has followed them into show busyness, becoming a fitness influencer and blogger. Chloe was joined by her fiancé James Haskell when she was last seen at the British Book Awards 2018 at the Grosvenor House Hotel on Monday night, where she spoke about her parents. Chloe and James became engaged in April during a trip to Paris after dating for four years. It was reported this week that he had splashed out a six-figure sum on securing Craig David as a performer at their forthcoming wedding. The rugby player admitted he has already morphed into a Grimzilla during the planning process, shelling out a staggering £100,000 on acquiring the services of the r and star for the couple's nuptials. The Wasp's flanker is in the early stages of organizing entertainment for the extravagant occasion and hopes the seven-day singer will serenade them. He told the Daily Star, I am like a Grimzilla. I have started booking Craig David to perform. He costs over pounds 100k, so it will be an extravagant occasion. James proposed to Chloe in April after three years of dating during a romantic trip to Paris, France. The daughter of TV presenters Richard Madeley and Judy Finnegan later admitted she was stunned by the gesture. Recalling the moment he got down on bended knee, she told hello. He kissed me on the forehead and said, you do know how much I love you, don't you? The last three and a half years have been the best years of my life. I just thought he was being romantic because we were in Paris, so I replied, oh babe, that's so sweet. But then he added, and you do know I want to marry you, and started to get down on one knee. 
At first I thought he was joking. I was speechless and stared at him in disbelief. Just one week after announcing their engagement, Chloe explained how important sex was in her relationship with the burly rugby player. I'm a really sexual person, she told the Daily Star. If I had a partner who didn't want to have a very sexual relationship, then that would be a problem for me. She continued, it is massive for James. Oh, any of the reasons we stuck together in the early days, before we totally committed, was because we were so compatible. Our sex is continually changing as our relationship grows, so it stays interesting.